Okay. Great. So welcome all. Uh, welcome to Financial Freedom. Uh, and today we are going to learn about candlesticks. Why we are learning about candlesticks? Any idea? You can unmute and talk. You can type and tell me the answer. No one knows why we are learning. We are all here and we don't know why here. Okay, Nitin Singh. No, I know the movement, price movement. Okay, price action. Okay, so uh, anyone else to understand the trend of stocks? Yes, perfect. Uh, to understand price action, what Nitin says is also correct. Uh, okay, uh, so this is one part which is important part is to know the price action to understand the trend of the stock to understand what the market is doing and underlying current never forget we are learning all this to earn money agar gyan mila par paisa nahi mila agar gyan liya par paisa nahi kama paaye to gyan vyarth hai in stock market so uh, translating in english if we are learning something and if we are not earning because of that learning then that knowledge is waste as far as stock market is concerned so two things we have to remember throughout the webinar today we are learning here so that we will go and practice and earn money so you are ek dimag mein chalna chahiye ki yaar isse main paisa kaise kamaunga theek hai ye concept hai but how will i earn money the concept is okay but how will i earn money you should always be having that thought process and learn accordingly and you will be able to earn money and this uh, three hours will be fruitful for you so that is my primary objective of uh, sharing the knowledge as well that i am expecting people to learn and then uh, use it and earn the money great so what we are going to learn today is how candlestick is drawn because there are many of us are new beginners today uh, this topic may be new so i'll be taking you through 5 to 10 minutes of how to draw the candlestick uh, patterns what each candle tells us price action and the psychology happening behind i'll take you through around 8 to 10 types of candles with the psychology so no need to uh, memorize it once you see you will understand what is happening then we will compare uh, price with volume price action with volume candlestick with volume so you will get a deeper knowledge uh, into what is happening exactly behind those candles and the volume so we'll take our uh, knowledge to a next level then uh, we will take it to further level and find when the trend is ending downtrend so we can buy the share and when the uptrend is starting we'll be taking through that so typically here is where uh, the point number 1 2 3 4 5 fifth point how to identify when the trend is ending you need to practice 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 whatever i share i'll upload the same thing on youtube as well uh, you have to look at it and practice because this is where you will start Uh, you can take the trades and earn money from this point onwards we'll be focusing on short term trades we are not here for uh, candlestick is not for very long term or long term it's a medium term uh, trading system so you identify when it is ending you take the trade 2 3 days 5 days 10 days 15 days you earn <coughs> decent money and come out so that is the objective of uh, this candlestick pattern point number 5 is very important uh, how to identify when the trend is ending so uh, once we go through all the basics then uh, we will come to this point and then as you progress in learning you can keep this in mind and start earning money understanding this uske pehle everything is important how to identify when a reversal is happening uh same uh, trend ending and when it is going and when if i have put my money i have to know when it is going to end and it is likely to fall so this is uh, all trading plans we'll discuss so we'll take through the trading plans as well uh, in the trading today so as i told you uh only knowledge useless you have to gain knowledge take action and then earn money 
So this is a three step process for abundant life. And this is my uh, statement also for every program. Okay, so let's begin. Um, I know many of you are new here. Uh, last webinar, I introduced uh, myself. A lot many people were there. Uh, those who have joined for the first time, I give uh, two minutes introduction. I'll not uh, consume other people's time in my introduction. So uh, in short, my introduction is uh, I have been there, done all. What does that mean? I was in professional life. Uh, I was a program manager. I'm ISO certified, PMP certified, ITIL certified. Worked in uh, telecom industry for 20 years. I have seen Airtel, Aircel, uh, Geo, Reliance. I have done the projects for them. I have gone uh, for international projects. I have done projects for at and you name it, I have done for all uh, big players in telecom. Uh, and uh, so why I'm telling all this is to impress everyone. Ki, haan, hai. Uh, no one should come back and say, nahi, nahi, what do you know about the pressures of professional world? Okay. Yes, a pura gyan is diya ki tomorrow you should not uh, think that what Samir Bapat knows about the pressure of the uh, professional world, I know I was program manager and I was in telecom, which is also a high pressure job, a 20 hours job in a day. I was able to learn, you will be able to learn if you want to. Second thing is I started learning uh, when I was doing a job. So it takes around few years to get the hang, real hang of it before you can uh, take uh, start earning consistently so i retired uh, in at the age of 45 uh, in 2017 and i am not doing any job i am purely into stock market so totally into stock market so i learned and shifted so you have to if you are taking planning to take that path learn have confidence earn consistently then you can plan off leaving the job or you can do the job and continue. So these two points I wanted to make uh, clear. Uh, so third point is why I'm doing this webinar, uh, because I want people, uh, pay, there will be phases when the people will be laid off, people will have difficulties in their job. You should have something to earn from. At least that gives you confidence. Dil majboot hota hai usse, ki, yes, I can do something. And uh, I, asa nahi hai ki if tomorrow job goes, there is nothing to do. So I want to uh, help people. So this is a brief introduction to myself. And that's why I'm doing this webinars for those who have joined for the first time today. Okay, so let's have a quick check for all those people who have joined today. Okay, before we go, uh, are we good to go? Everyone okay? Everyone comfortable uh, with the entire setup? Can I have yes from all of you if you are comfortable uh, with the uh, we moving ahead? Can I have yes with the yes. full energy? Yes? Okay, great. Okay. So, Nitin, I would request you to um, unmute. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, so, so, right. So, just uh, for that. Okay, great. So, let's go. Uh, so, uh, everyone knows what uh, stock market is. Can I have yes if everyone knows what stock market is? So, I know my audience is with me. Yes, okay, great. Uh, everyone knows Indian stock market opens at 9.15 and closes at 3.30. Correct? Price dances all around the place from 9.15, the market opens any share you take, Reliance, Infosys, TCS, any uh, stock exchange, be it US, UK, anything. If the price uh, stock market opens, the price dances around. It opens at certain price, it goes up, comes down uh, and uh, everywhere it goes. So price keeps moving up and down during the day in the stock market. So everyone is okay. You know what is a share of a company? So that, that is a basic uh, share of the company which is traded. It's a portion of the company which we can buy at a certain price. Profit or loss equal to sell price minus buy price into number of shares. Uh, and uh, you all, I'm assuming, are having a free account in TradingView because we are looking at a price action. So you should be opening a free account in TradingView. 
So can I have yes for everything if you are with me so far? Whatever I have told everyone with me, can I have yes from all 36 participants? Yes for all. Okay, great. If you are not open, uh, free account in trading view, open one account. Okay. Second confirmation. How many of you in school days have plotted this? Uh, okay, Pragati, if you don't have account in trading view, I'll be posting it in the group. You can open a free account. You can open a free account. Don't start with the paid account. Use the free account for at least six months or six to eight months. Then go for a paid account. Okay. Uh, it's in USA based company only. So you can open there. Uh, now, uh, <clears throat> How many of you have plotted this chart in childhood or remember or now you are plotting this for your kids or at least Kabito Dushant is saying you have not plotted this. Okay. So uh, you have plotted, everyone has plotted, others have plotted this. In childhood, we used to get this uh, uh, problem. Okay. This is the rate for this month. So we will be uh, having the values and this is the month and uh, we will be saying okay 100 value january 100 uh, x axis y axis plot a dot uh, plot 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 and make a picture everyone has plotted yes okay so if you have plotted you are ready for the stock market if you have not done it in childhood and you don't remember thoda mushkil hoga stock market mein but if you have plotted this in your childhood in stock market, then you are ready to do the analysis in stock market. Okay, so uh, this is the plotting uh, we have. And now why we were taught this? Why we were taught this in childhood? Okay, why we were, uh, because we are changing a data into a picture. This is the data. Uh, this uh, table here is data. Some data, January, February, March, April, and number. To analyze that becomes difficult. Why we were taught in the childhood? We were told, uh, not told exactly why we are plotting it, because we are changing it into a picture. And for human beings, Analyzing a picture is easier. To make sense of a picture is easier. Rather than uh, seeing this table in a data form, if we all are looking at this picture, we can easily say, okay, for four months it went up, one month it went down, and again it went up. As soon as we see the picture, it, the picture is very clear for us. Everyone agrees that when you see on a picture, flash of a second, you can make out, Okay, four months the price went up something, one month it went down and it went up so simple. Interpretation of data is become so simple as soon as it is converted into a picture. That's why we need to study the graphs. We study, need to study the picture more and more and it's converted into picture because it makes easy to interpret. Okay, so we are all good till here. Let's move forward. Uh, then, <clears throat> is my speed okay? Very fast, very slow. Is the speed okay? Great, thank you. Now, who are bulls in the stock market? Who are bulls? Anyone, someone, buyers, okay, good, expand this buyers. This buyers is correct, they are buyers. Uh, but uh, along with buyers, they have a, uh, who takes price upward, okay, great. So we have buyers, we have, uh, no, FII, uh, DII, you and me, we all are bulls and bears at our own given time. So it's not about FI only. So buyers who takes uh, price upwards, uh, thinks market is positive, buys when stock moves up. Yes, big investors, no, uh, remove big, small investor, bulls, uh, characteristics of a bull. Okay, pushes the market upwards, thinks price will go up. Fantastic answers. Not only 
things the price goes onward. So characteristics of a bull is, uh, we have got lots of comment, all of them are right. Uh, I'll just define it in the, uh, what the way I understand. Bulls are one, they are bullish about the coming future. It may be three days, four days. It can be three months. It can be three years. So a bull typically is bullish for the price to go up in coming days. So that is the first starting point. Second thing is he thinks that he or she, okay, or the bull thinks that the price is likely to go up very far. It is going to move for quite some time. So he wants to take a position right now in the market. He wants to buy a share. So these three things are thought process. A bull thinks or believes, a bull believes that the price is going to go up. Second thing is he believes that it is going to go up substantially so that he will be able to make money. Third thing is he wants to buy the share right now. Once he believes uh, that he wants to buy the share right now, then he goes and actually punches the order to buy it. Many people might think that it is likely to go up. They are not bulls. They are having a view that it will go up. They are not bulls. The person who is having a conviction that it is likely to go up and he punches the order and he places the order and he buys the share is real bull. Only thought process, useless fellows, no use to us. We are only uh, giving the like tag or medal of bull to a person who punches the order, who actually buys it in the market and buys it at higher and higher and higher and higher price uh, in the market. So execution with a thought is important to be defined as bull. Fine. Everyone okay? Or at least holds on to the uh, position. So he should have a position in the market and holds on to the market in the view that it will go up is a bull. So he should be participant in the market. Now, can someone define me who are bears in the market? Anyone would like to define? With whatever I have told, anyone would like to define one volunteer? <laughs> okay, don't say opposite to uh, bull. Yes, the it is true, but thoda sa expression me who would like to go. Someone would like to unmute quickly. Okay, so I'm reading who are negative word trend, sell and get out. Yes, so <clears throat> one is thought process. Se chalu uh, beers are having a view that the price has gone up quite far and it is likely to fall. That is a thought process, okay? And they want to sell the stock. So to sell the stock, they should have a stock, correct? So they are already a participant. So they want to sell the stock and come out. So, and they actually execute it. So they sell the stock and come out. So those are beers. So thinking and execution is very important for classifying as beers. Now, third is... Uh, <laughs> there are no permanent bulls. There are no permanent beers. People change the team from bulls to beer, beer to bull. When they think few people, not everyone in the entire world thinks in the same way. 50% will be always beers. 50% will always be bullish or some people will not participate also. So they are neither bull, neither beers. They are waiting on the, along, on the sidelines. Bulls and beers change their team. So a bull today might change his team and start selling uh, tomorrow. He might be buying today. After three days, he might become a beer. So a bull and a beer change the team. So as an ki once in a bull team, uh, you put on the t-shirt and you are always in the bull team. And if you have put on the t-shirt of beer, you are in the beer team always. 
you change this ipl may team change karte na so you change the team yeah, the fi has changed the team di had changed the team traders changed the team so we should also learn when they are changing the team now most uh, important thing which i repeat every time uh, when you are going in stock market uh, we have all the notion about the society equality everyone should be equal uh, there should be no color bias uh, everyone should be treated properly and there should be fair rules for everyone and all this kind of notions we have about the society when we are in society we have all this notion before we proceed and before you decide to attend and uh, use or waste your next two to three hours i want it to be very clear with everyone once you are going in stock market it's a jungle out there there is nothing called equality or fairness or nothing it's a jungle in jungle have you seen that okay uh animals will have a waiting list okay when i should kill whom and when and all that they go by na nature's way of uh, working in stock market it is not told very clearly but let me tell you very clearly it's a jungle out there so if you are think uh, so you have to learn to survive and thrive if you are not learning find things to learn to survive and thrive if you learn then only you will earn lot of money if you are learning if you are not learning how to survive or if you are not comfortable with the idea that okay this is jungle out there and we have to follow the laws of jungle we have to be alert we have to study things we have to find finer things in the jungle to earn big money and survive if you are uncomfortable then most likely stock market is not for you but if you are comfortable you are okay that okay theek hai jungle hai to kya hua hum raj karenge jungle pe jungle hai to kya hua hum ja ke dekhenge kaise hai hum bhi shikar karenge hum bhi paisa kamayenge aur hum bhi khub paisa kamayenge nothing wrong in that market hai it's legal so if you are okay uh, going into jungle and making a uh, killing and earning money then the stock market is for you if you have any other notion about stock market then this place is not for you so you can decide whether to spend next 2 to 3 hours learning what i am teaching because i'll be teaching you the techniques the today i am going to teach you the finer techniques of survival finer techniques to find what is happening finer techniques to uh, take trade and earn money but you have to remember you have to practice that and if you are comfortable be with me for next 2 hours if you are uncomfortable uh, with the jungle then this place the stock market itself may not be for you okay so everyone with me how many of you are okay entering into jungle and we are with, with me just type yes okay let me have yes if you are okay entering into jungle being with me and learning the rules of the jungle yes okay great thank you so i am delighted i have lots of people with me chalo jungle chalenge <coughs> let's be mowgli nahi mowgli why mowgli we will be lions and lioness of the jungle mowgli ko bhi wo protect karte the kaliya wagera sab so let's become uh, that or kaliya was villain okay anyway so how candle is drawn so let we'll start with the how candle is drawn uh, now uh, for those who people who don't know how the candles are drawn let me quickly take you through it and uh, okay i hope recording is in progress okay recording is in progress okay now uh, as i told you in stock market when we uh, the market opens at 9:15 so this is the you can see on the screen uh, this is i have opened this tech mahindra this is nsc website everyone can access in india 
in India, a lot of data is available. So this is Tech Mahindra. You can see on this orange strip, Tech Mahindra. Uh, can someone type T if you can see? T, T, type T if you can see Tech Mahindra here. T for Tamil Nadu, something coach, give me signs of life. Ah, T, okay. Great. Now, uh, okay, great, thank you. Now, uh, we have this open price. So what has happened on Friday is 9.15, Tech Mahindra started trading. So people started buying, selling at 1060. It went the highest till 1065, lowest till 1046 and closed at 1060. So you can see jahan chalu hua, it opened 915, 1060, it started. And at 3.30, the last, uh, whatever the closing price was there, 1060.85. So through pura dance karke, it went till 1065, it went down to 1046. And finally, it closed at the point where it started. You have to understand, we have four data points, correct? We have a price where it started trading at 9.15, which is called as open price. During the day, whatever is the highest level, it went is a high. During the day, whatever is the lowest level, it went is called low. And whatever price it closed is, is closed. So we have data. Data we have to translate into a picture for understanding ki chal kya raha hai. We have to understand ki ho kya raha hai yaha pe. So we have to change into picture. Now this data is changed into picture. How do we change it into a picture, a visual, so that we understand what is happening? A quick recap for those people joining today. So what happens is there is an open price. So it is called O for open, high, low, and close. So this is the core data what we are having from the data. Can I have yes from all of you if you are with me? Everyone is okay with open, high, low, close data from where it has come? Okay. Now, you can see the whiteboard, right? I am writing OHLC on here. So, if you cannot see, let me know. So, I am assuming you are able to see. Now, what happens is the price, let's say, opened here. And this is the opening price, whatever it may be the price. The price went till here. This is the highest point where the price went. So this was the highest point. Then the price went down, 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 down. It went to this lowest point during the day. So this was the lowest traded price during the day. And it went up and it closed somewhere here. Okay. So this is how, let's assume this is how the price danced during the day. It opened here. The highest price at which it was traded is this high, then it went down low and it was closed. How this is entire dance of the day is uh, captured in a picture is, this open price is here, it is taken like this. This is the close price. Close price pe ek line yaha pe draw ki. Open price pe yaha pe line draw ki. Close price pe yaha draw kya and we draw a rectangle like this between open and close price. So far so good. So I am taking the price where it closed. I am taking the price where it opened. There is whatever is the distance. I am making a triangle here uh, and uh, I am making a rectangle here. Yes, okay, so far so good. Okay. From that point onwards, this is the highest point. So I'll take this highest point here in the price. From this rectangle, I will draw a line till the highest point it went during the day. And lowest point is here. I will draw join that lowest point price from the day 
and this is the candlestick I have drawn. So I have drawn a rectangle which is like the body of the candle and these are called the wicks. We have the wick. Candle wick. 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 So this is how we draw. Plus, if the close price is greater than open price, then we will color this candle as red. So we will know. So why we are um, painting it with green? Uh, sorry, we are painting it with green is. As soon as with this green color, we will be able to understand that on this day, the open price and close price, close price was higher, open price was uh, lower. So when it opened, it opened at some lower price and it closed at higher price. So we color it green, this uh, rectangle, we color it green. From this rectangle till the highest point it goes, High price, uh, this is the highest price and this is the lowest price. This is how the green candle is drawn. Everyone okay? Can I have yes from all of you if you are if you are clear with what I have drawn? Okay, 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 okay. If O and C are values are the same, then uh, let's say closure is here. So it will look like this. This is the close price, this is the open price, and this is the smaller box will become. And this was the wick here, and this was the wick here. If it is further uh, open and close price are all, almost same, then only one line will be drawn. Rectangle drawer is the only line will be drawn, and from here till here high, sorry. Thoda drawing, this whiteboard I cannot use much, I have to upgrade. But is kya karenge? eraser okay so this will look something like this if the open is equal to close uh, then it will look something like this if open and close is very near it will look something like this open and close uh, is far away it will look something like this now this thing this rectangle which is formed is called body, body of the candle. Please write in your notes, this rectangle is called body of the candle. Very, very important. You have to remember what is the body of the candle and what is the wick of the candle. This anything line between the rectangle and the highest point or the rectangle and the lowest point is called Wick. Okay. Uh, so this is upper wick. This is lower wick. Very, very important. You have to memorize. Do bar, char bar, man me bol lije. Kya me bol rahu? Kya body hai or kya wick hai? Just repeat in your mind for two, three times. Because if you don't remember this now, baad me locha hoga. Everyone very clear. What is the body? What is the upper wick? And what is the lower wick? Amarjit, you have a question? Amarjit Saluja, you unmuted. So I thought you have a question. Okay, I'll mute you. So, okay. Can I have yes from all of you if you have understood what is a body of, a, uh, what is a body, how it is drawn, how, what is a body and what is a wick, upper wick, lower wick? If you are, not clear, ask me now. Because one time is point seven uh, mentioned. Oh, sorry. Thank, thank you, Prashant. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so this is the lower wick, and this is the upper wick, and this is the body. Okay. Now this we have colored as green. Second candlestick that might happen is the price opened here. At this point, the, the at 9.15, the stock market started trading. It opened here. Uh, it went down. Uh, the price, traded price went down till this point. 
again went up this point here high, then again closed at this location at this point. So the price 915, it opened here sometime during the day, it went till here and then again it went till this high here and the finally 330, the price closed here, open high, low closed. Now the closing price is below the opening price. So there is a difference. Candle will be drawn in the same way. Open, draw one line, close price, draw one line, make a rectangle between open and close price. Since now the close price is lower than the open price, we color this rectangle as red. And from this rectangle, whichever is the highest point, we draw a wick, upper wick. And whichever is the lowest price, we draw a wick to bottom. So this is upper wick. And this is lower wick for the red candle. And this is the body. So important points to remember is, one, if close is lower than open, the body color will be red. If close is greater than the open, body color will be green. From the rectangle to the highest point will be the upper wick. From the uh, body till lower point will be the lower wick. Everyone okay? And from where this data is coming? This is coming from everyday exchanges, trading open, high, low, close, open, high, low, close. All this data is coming every day. Market on working day will open at uh, open, high, low, close, open, high, low, close. This will keep on happening. Done. Can I have yes from all of you before I go to the next level? Everyone with me? Sabko samaj aage hai ab tak? Kya main next level pe ja sakta hoon? Okay, great. Thank you. Now, if you see the chart, what what we can yeah, yeah. So the same thing will be plotted here. This is the trading view. Trading view after the free may plot kar data. Roj ka uh, data jo hai, it will plot you for free uh, here. Plot for you free. Free of cost, uh, free is good enough. If you are a beginner, don't go for paid version. They have some, uh, I think, uh, uh, some Friday, Black Friday sale is there. If you want to go for paid version, go. Otherwise, free is good for trading for an entire year for a beginner level. So uh, even you can take it next year, ka Good Friday sale maybe less. Don't rush. Okay. Uh, okay. Good question, Nijan. Now here, Okay, now for everyone, question test for everyone, test time. See, this is the graph. This is, we have learned in the graph. So bottom is the dates. If you can see date, if you, uh, if I'm moving my mouse, if you, everyone can observe bottom, it is written Tuesday, 1st November, Wednesday, 2nd November, 3rd November. So it's a date. Uh, X-axis is the date. Then Y-axis is the price. This is the Y-axis, uh, you have price. So when I'm moving the mouse, this cross is drawn. I will share the video how to use trading view with everyone in the group, uh, financial fitness group. So you can go through how to use trading view, thala basic hai, how you can use. So you can use, just follow with me, uh, be with me right now. So this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, this is the price uh, which is happening here. And uh, what we have to do is we have plotted a based on data. So if I'm keeping the mouse here, bottom may uh, just hold on, just hold on. Let me rearrange the. <clears throat> okay, now I have kept my mouse on my mouse on x axis, which date is highlighted? Which date is highlighted below? Twenty five October. Everyone okay? Everyone is able to see twenty five October. Niche dekhiye. Yaha pe niche bottom. 
बॉटम में देखिए ट्वेंटी फाइव अक्टूबर इज देयर करेक्ट ओके नाउ यू हैव टू सी हियर दिस वैल्यूज ओके हियर दो आई आई एम अज्यूमिंग एवरी वन वॉज ओके एंड एवरी वन सॉरी एवरी वन लर्न मैथमेटिक्स टिल एटलीस्ट एट क्लास राइट नो वन टू अदर सब्जेक्ट बिफोर एट सॉरी एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी ओके नाउ हियर इट इज रिटर्न ओ एच एल सी ओपन हाई लो क्लोज If I am keeping the mouse here, it is giving four values: open, high, low, and close. So everyone, I want everyone to open chat. Whoever can open the chat, or if you are having a notepad, uh, uh, write on the notepad. What is the open value uh, of Tech Mahindra on twenty fifth October? So write twenty fifth October. Oh, what is the value? Those who can type, type here on the chat. If you can see the O, what is written after O? One zero five three point four zero. Fantastic. Everyone, write open value. It is written here. So those who missed, I'll just show here. See, this is the open O where my mouse is. Where my mouse is moving. Let me. Uh, okay. This I'm. making a circle here okay so you have to look at the here i have made a dirty circle ko bekar sa drawing hai but it will help you okay now i have took my mouse okay so everyone is able to see where i have circled the black circle the open high low close so for 25th october write down in your uh, diary what is the open price 1053.40 high was how much was the high highest price it went during the day 1086 great uh, then what was the lowest price l it is mentioned what is the lowest price 1051 okay great and what was the close price so close price is at 330 1082 okay so nitin and mayank are responding very fast others i hope they have not gone for a breakfast ya chai ka break pe to nahi chale gaye matlab okay so 1082.50 okay now question is is the closing price greater than the open price is the closing price of 25th october greater than the opening price hence this rectangle is green this candle body is green any price from there till the highest point it went it is joined with a green wick someone asked wo kaun sa color hoga so it is joined with a green wick and i am just removing the mouse you can see small small wicks here and there is a wick here so this is how the candle so as soon as we see green candle then we will automatically understand looking at the picture ki is then the price opened and closed the closing price was the higher than open price so this candle is green here is the close price greater than open price on 20th october i have put my mouse on 20th october is the close price greater than open price yes hence it is green candle now here i have put my mouse on 27th october what has happened on 27th october what has happened on 27th october closing is greater than open or closing price is less than open price less or lower hai na close is less than open theek hai simple we have data we have plotted in on the chart and we got this candles and we have understood some fire alarm is there just hold on i'll just check 
whether I have to run or I, have, I can stay. Just hold on. Okay. Uh, so we understood uh, that candles. Very, very important. Till now, if I want really yes from everyone uh, that you have understood the green candle, the red candle, the upper wick and lower wick. Because the entire <coughs> game will be starting by the understanding of this. So I want every one of you to just type yes if you have really understood. If you have any questions, we are pausing here for a minute. Ask me what is the open price, close price, and uh, any questions. Okay, clear, understood, great. Now, the second step is we have to understand See, what we will be trying to learn is, see, this candle, this candle, if you see, I'm, I'm zooming in on this candle. Okay, before we go to the candle, just uh, for this uh, towers below, here you can see this gray towers below, right? tall, tall buildings you can see at the bottom. These towers have the volume. Uh, there is no upper wick for few candles. Yes, it is possible. Uh, there may be upper, no upper wick. There is no, no lower wick. It is possible. And uh, we will go through why it is so. Second thing is everyone can observe this gray uh, towers at the bottom. Correct? This is a tower at the bottom, bottom, bottom here. These are the volume. Volume is what? Number of shares traded. Meri ichha hai share kharidna or mene actually buy kiya hai share. Correct. There is a difference. I wanted to buy a share and actually have purchased. The share has got a different meaning. So here it is actually traded number of shares where the buyer and seller came together. Handshake hua. Ek ne share diye, ek ne paise diye and the uh, share was traded. So this is the volume. So if this bar, since we are representing it in the picture, if this gray bar on 11th November, what I, where my mouse is located, <clears throat> you can see that this building is tall. On 10th November, that gray building is shorter. So automatically, visually, we can understand that, okay, that means on 11th of November, the number of shares traded was more than the number of shares traded on 10th of November. Correct. And if you want to know how many shares, the here, the volume is here. It is mentioned here. The volume is mentioned at this location. So when I take my mouse here, then it is showing the volume 1.617 million shares of Tech Mahindra were traded on 11th of November. On uh, 10th of November, so everyone can understand if I'm saying, let's say, to, uh, after some time, if I say the volume is higher uh, on 11th November than 10th November, everyone can identify now that kiski baat kar raho mein, what I'm talking about. Agar mein baat karun ki ye volume 11th November ka volume. Jada tha volume matlab wo sound ka volume nahi, uh, shares ka volume hota. When, when we say volume, to it is uh, number of shares kitne trade huye, wo hoga. To volume kahon, to aap kahon nahi nahi music system nahi lagaya, aisa nahi hai. Volume matlab kitne share trade huye. Jada volume tha 11th ko 10 se ya 14th ko kam volume tha. Uh, elements say, if I'm saying that everyone will be okay, everyone will understand what I'm saying. Don't worry, if I'm speaking something in Hindi. 
rest assured, I am saying the same in English also. Thank you. You will not you. miss anything. Fine. Okay. So, uh, in volume, uh, when I am saying volume, it's not about music system. It's about the number of shares traded. So, we have to do the relative study. This is what I have laid the foundation. Okay. Till here, it's all foundation. Uh, what we have created. We have understood what are candles. We have understood what is the uh, volume. Uh, what is a candlestick and all. So this is the basic. Uh, ek, uh, we have created our groundwork. Uh, yeah, Gauri, definitely very good question. Uh, some candles are very big, but volume is very less. And why it is so? Fantastic question and fantastic observation. This is what we want. If you are observing these things and you are practicing these things, you will rule the jungle. Okay. Now, uh, I will come to that. I'll cover that. Okay. Uh, where I was wrong. I, ha. So, I will just repeat quickly everyone uh, so that everyone is with me when I'm reading this. And each candle tells us the story, tells us the secret, what is going to happen in the stock market. Each candle tells us the story. Okay, so I'll just quickly repeat. Uh, when the open price, I have put my mouse on 20, let's say I'll put the mouse on 2nd of November. I have put my mouse on 2nd of November. If visually I'm seeing it's a green candle, that means immediately I should know that the closing price was greater than open price. The wick, upper wick will show high, how high it went during the day. The lower wick uh, will show me how lower the price went during the day while trading. If I see below uh, this gray building, it shows me the volume. Volume number, if I want to see, the volume number will come here. On the left hand side, I have made a black circle. Volume number of shares will be visible there open high low close values will be visible from the top. If I am keeping my mouse on 3rd of November, as you can see at the bottom, if I see a red candle, that means the price, closing price is lower than the open price. Again, from that rectangle, so we will draw a rectangle between the open price and close price. The upper wick and the lower wick uh, is the highest and the lowest price it has. Uh, gone. Uh, name of the script is here. Uh, you can see the name of the script here. Tech Mahindra. Okay, this is the Tech Mahindra script. And here is where you will you can change the script. What I will be doing is I will be sharing how to use Trading View uh, in the group Financial Fitness Group. So I have uploaded a video how to use Trading View. Uh, for all the things what you need to use in trading view. Uh, they keep on updating, but you will be able to manage. So I'll be sending that. Huh? Okay, so then this volumes, we have to understand the relative volumes. Okay, we are good so far. Okay. Okay. Everyone okay? So far so good. Can I have CC from all of you? Uh, type CC if you are clear. Crystal clear, crystal clear, CC for crystal clear. <clears throat> now, why we have learned so far? If foundation is okay, now we are going to the next level. अब हम अगले लेवल पे जाएंगे अब तक हमारा फाउंडेशन सेट हो गया है नाउ वी विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ वी विल बी सीइंग द साइजेस ऑफ दिस विक एंड दिस बॉडी सो यू शुड बी क्लियर व्हाट इज बॉडी व्हाट इज विक व्हाट इज द साइज ऑफ दिस विक अपर विक लोअर विक नो विक टेल्स अस द स्टोरी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन द माइंड्स ऑफ बुल्स एंड बियर्स and here is where the secret of candlestick starts for us now. We will be able to look at the picture and tell what is happening. If we understand what is happening right now, we will be predict what is most probable to happen. There is no guarantee, 
but what is likely to happen? What is the high probability? Like we know uh, in India, at least we know, bar ke countries ka nahi pata mujhe. but in India, we know that if I'm going out at 9 a.m. on Monday, there is a high probability that I will find a traffic jam. Only miracle can, miracle or rather say, sometimes I'll have less traffic jam, but mostly it's a no-brainer to find that it will be traffic jam. So same thing we are learning from the uh, candlestick and we'll be able to predict. No, uh, this date is uh, like the chart. Harshal, uh, the date is... Uh, uh, like we plot the chart, right? In childhood, we used to plot for 18th November. This is the price action. So if I'm placing the mouse and trading, it is showing the date and relevant price. Okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's convert this into a now you have to imagine, for my imagination, uh, we'll have to imagine uh, the war between bulls and bear. Okay, bulls, as we know, are optimistic about the future. Okay, they are in their mind, they are optimistic about the future. That is one part of it. Second part of it, because of their optimism, they go and buy the share. So they have to buy also. Only optimism, no use. Execution, then it makes them real bulls. They are bullish on the market or they are bullish on the stock and they are actually buying. So now, let's assume uh, everyone has played the tug of war in the uh, childhood. We used to have two teams. Oh, Rasa Kashi wala game sabne khela hua hai. Can I have yes from all of you who have played that game? You will have two teams. One team on this side, one team on the other side with a rope in between and the both teams will pull the rope and uh, whoever is able to pull the rope on their side or Rasi Kheech wali pratyogita mein winner rahega. Correct? Yes? Okay. Now let's assume there are two teams. Two team hai hamare paas. Right side mein bulls hai. Left side mein bears hai. And they are playing this tug of war. So let's say this is the line. This is the rope. On the left side we have bear. So I'll say this is BE. And we have on the right side we have bulls. Let's call them BU or let's make the... <clears throat> B, E and bulls. Okay. Left and right, both sides, bulls and bears. Now, have this imagination. So, few points I am going to tell step by step. Pay attention to what I am saying. Let's say the opening price was here. At this some level, the opening price was there. Let's call it, let's say 100. The morning 9.15, the trade started. The price opened. The trading started at 100. It went down a little bit. It went to 98, let's say. Then, <clears throat> so when it went down from 100 to 98, how you have to imagine is the bears were selling, 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 selling. See, it is important to have outlook, bearish outlook and to execute. So bears have a bearish outlook. That means the price abhi kafi level pe hai. It's at good level. It's a good time to sell. That's what is going in the bears mind. Bear ye soj rahe hai ki ye price jaha hai 100. Bohut ho gaya. Abhi ya upar nahi jayega. Aur so they want to sell and they actually sell. So beers, when they start to sell in tug of war, it will be like beers are pulling the market down. So they 
sold at 100, kept on selling at 100. Then they kept on selling at 98, 98, 98. The price went down. Okay. So the price went from 100 to 98 in tug of war. Who was willing? The bulls were buying, but the beers were selling, ready to sell at lower price, lower price, lower price. So from morning when it went till 98, who was winning the war between bulls and beers? Everyone, everyone, pay attention. Type the answer, write the answer. Who was winning the war? And beer were winning the war. They were able to pull the rope on their side. So they were able to sell, 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 sell. They were actually executing. Then the bull said, Nay, was bahut ho gaya abhi. now we have to buy it because the bulls are thinking the price will go up and they are then placing the orders to buy, 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 buy. So they started buying from 98. They went, took the price up, 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 up. So they are actually buying. Huh? They are not only thinking they are buying, 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 buying at a higher price, higher price, higher price. Theke, if it is available, soap will buy it at 100. If it is available at uh, 102, buy, 103, buy, 104, buy, 105, buy. Just keep on buying, 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 buying. So if bulls feel that the price is going up, they feel that they will buy at 101, they will buy at 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, they will keep on buying and the price will went up. Uh, they kept on buying and the price went up, let's say till this point, which is 1, 1, 3. Let's call it 1, 1, 3. So from 98 and till the price went till 113 at this level, who were winning in the tug of war? Bulls. Correct. Bulls were winning. Then BR said, yeah, but here price of 113 is a good price. Let's start selling. So some beers entered and then they pushed the price below, 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 below. And finally, see, referee will say 330. It will blow the whistle. Ki bah, bahut ho gaya game. So ab ghar jao. Go home. 330 is closing time. The game is over. So finally, the beers could push it down and bring it till 109, let's say. And the market 330 it closed. So 109 the price of share close. So now we have to make a picture. Okay, step number one, is the closing price greater than the opening price? Yes. Okay, draw a rectangle between opening and closing price. Very good. Is the closing price higher than opening price? Yes. Okay, then shade make this <clears throat> uh, rectangle as a green. Perfect. This is join from the box till the highest point, the upper wick, lower wick, and the candle is ready. This is a normal candle in terms of fight between bulls and bears. So whenever you are looking at a fight, you have to imagine. See, it may not happen exactly like this. Sequence may, it will never happen. But when you are looking at a candle, you have to imagine in your mind how the bulls and bears are fighting, who is winning and who is losing and who lost where. See, now here first, repeat, the bears won, they pulled the price down by selling, 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 selling. Then the bulls took over, nahi was, chalega nahi, chal bina. They started buying, 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 buying. They took the price up, so they were winning till the price went till high, and then they closed at this point. Everyone okay? Everyone is able to imagine, feel the fight between bulls and bears? Yes, no? Okay. Now, <clears throat> 
Got it? Now, some scenarios I'll take quickly. Uh, some scenarios I'll take. Anyway, bears are on the left, bulls are on the right. Now, what may happen is another thing. The price started at 100. Bulls pura josh mein hai, full mood. Bulls are in full mood that no, whatever price it is available will buy. So bulls started buying. The as soon as 9:15, the trade started. It started trading. The bulls started buying. Buy, 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 buy. So it did not go down. The bears had no chance to pull the price down. The price went up, 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 till here. So let's say it started with 100 straight from the morning straight from the word go 915 the bull started the started pulling the rope on their side sorry bulls on the right side so bull started uh, pulling 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 it went till 115 okay from 915 115 price then we are so who was winning from 100 to 115 who was winning? Bulls. Then BR thought ki boss, this is a good price. So they started selling. So they were selling more. See, it's aisa to nahi na. See, when you are playing tug of war, it does not happen that bulls are pulling and then they leave the rope and go home. Bulls are also participating, bears are also participating. The, but the power of beer becomes more, so the rope will come on their side. Correct? Do you agree? That after pulling the rope, the bulls will not go for uh, uh, go uh, to home. They are still there pulling, but the power of beer increases at 115. Then the price starts going down. The beer starts winning. They bring it to 110 till here. So now. From 115, when the price came down, who were having more force, who were applying more force than the in both teams, who were applying more force? Beers were applying more force. Correct? Correct, everyone okay? Then 330, referee, National Stock Exchange, Bombay Stock Exchange, they'll put on the whistle. Boss, apne apne ghar jao, market close ho chuka hai. 3.30 the market close. Okay, the picture will be formed like this. And this uh, rectangle will be formed. Usko color karenge. Now, okay. Ha, Nishant, absolutely right. So what happened was since from the word go, the bulls took over, there is only upper wick here. There is no lower wick. Agreed, everyone okay? See, the wick is not there in the lower. That means morning 9.15, whistle bachi, bachi, and the bull started pulling. They took it to the high. Then beer said, Nahi, we have to pull it back. They pulled it down a little bit. Still, the price closed at 110. This is the story which this candlestick drawing is telling us. Everyone okay? Yes, no. Okay. Overall, bulls were in control. Fantastic. Now, it may so happen that the price opens here. Beers start pushing it, pushing it, pushing it down till here, this point. So beers are winning. They are having more power. So they are selling, 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 selling. It's not that no one is buying. The enthusiasm of sellers is more. They are ready to sell at this price, lower price, lower price, lower price. Theek hai. Jitna rate mein niklega, utne mein nikal denge, par hum so beers kept on selling, 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 selling. It came down till here. So beers were pulling and then bulls ko laga nahi yaar, kaafi ho gaya abhi. Abhi we have to take the price up. 
So from here, the bull started buying. So they found the volume value in this. They took, 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 took it up. And they took it up till here. Then the beers again started pushing the price down and it closed here. So we will get a candle like this, something like this, and we'll have a higher wick, we'll have a lower wick, but the body will be very small. That day, that means the bulls and beers both played their role, but market was finally undecided. It is said, as per the book, it is said it is undecided. It is typically undecided only, and you can note down, this is an important point, market is undecided only when the body is almost in center, like this. It can be red or green, but if the body is in the center, then it is said ki na bulls jite na beers jite. Neither bulls won, neither beers won. It was an undecided game. But it is very important if one wick is longer than the other wick. In this case, this wick is longer than the upper wick. This has got a very, very important meaning. So first of all, I want yes from everyone that for how this star form, you are able to imagine the fights between bulls and bears. Can I have yes? Okay. Second is, in book it is mentioned that if you have something like this, if the body is very thin, it's called a uh, doji star and it is said that the market is not decided what to do. Bulls and bears both had, both could not take either conclusively market up or market down. So it is undecided, it is said, which is true. But since we are in this class, we have to understand that we have to see which side the wick is more or less. As an engineer, huh? don't become an engineer and measure, okay, this is 2 mm more than this. No, no, no. Judgment. You have to take a judgment. All the engineers don't become engineers and measure, okay, how much mm here, how much mm here, and they'll write a code. If this is greater than this, no, you have to take some judgment. Okay, formulas you can write to screen, but you have to take a judgment. Uh, no, uh, Nishant, I'll come to what it means. So you have to, first step is you have to understand that this lower wick uh, should be, if it is more than the higher wick, it is some meaning. If the upper wick is longer than lower wick, it has got some meaning. Different meaning I'll cover uh, today only for everyone. Similarly, for if the in the morning the market opened at this price, let's say 100 rupees, it went up, bulls started pulling it up, then the beers started selling it, sell, sell, sell at lower price, lower price, lower price. They took it till here. Then again, bulls started pulling it up. It went here and closed here when the whistle blew. Then since the close price is lower than the open price, the candle will become red and we have to interpret that it is a red candle. Hmm? Okay, so you now everyone is clear what is happening in the market and what is happening. So before we go for a uh, quick break of water, drinking water, if you don't have any water to drink, uh, you should have. Now, I want a confirmation from everyone. Now look at this picture. If you're looking at this picture, this picture, 28th October and all, Are you able to now imagine ki kya hua hoga? what would have happened during the day? Let's say here, 18th November. 
okay 18th november what would have happened we have not seen we are not present in the market from 915 to 330 but this uh, picture is drawn for 18th november can one of you mute, unmute yourself and describe the story what story would have happened the what is the game happened on between bulls and bears on 18th of november and that's why this star is uh, formed anyone Anyone can tell me what would have happened? Yeah, Nathan. Yeah, this you know, uh, the price went down. Uh -huh. It went down, but the bulls again, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, take a charge and then they, they uh, bought the price up so that it went up also and then came down but closed uh, at the upper side. So that's why uh, Doji is formed. So the Doji is formed. Doji is formed, correct. Absolutely right. Fantastic. Now uh, for sir. this, yeah, okay. Uh, Gopala Krishnanji, uh, tell me what has happened on 17th November? Yeah, 18th November. 17th? 17th November. Uh, my mouse is on 17th November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, 17th November, you got the uh, bus that is the left hand side has taken a charge. And go to a little bit, not. Uh, yeah, you you will say beers. Left hand side is beers. Yeah. Right hand side yes. Both beers took the charge. Okay. Yeah, beers beers has taken charge. Not uh -huh. uh, more than twenty percent. If I'm correct. Huh? Not more than twenty percent. If I'm correct. Twenty percent. Uh, yeah, twenty percent of the whole day. No, no, no. Just say the story. Like uh, the beers took charge. They kept on selling. It went down till one zero four seven. Then bulls took charge. They took it back till. Uh, 1058 and it closed at 1058. So it was like, uh, uh, I mean, every time what is happening is the bulls are taking it up. Come here, there is some sound coming. Huh? There is some sound coming. Some sound is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think again they are testing the siren. No, it has stopped. You cannot hear the sound. No, now, now it is not there. No, not there. Huh? Okay. No, no, I think that uh, Gopala Krishnanji, when he's talking, some music is playing behind him. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, no, so, so, no, somebody was there and uh, unmuted <laughs> things. There is a maybe sound. Okay. okay. Uh, see, now uh, everyone pay attention. Very, very important. Okay. Now, very, very important thing you have uh, to see here. This both, whether it is green or this is red. One thing is there, the bulls took the charge. See, the bears pushed it down and down. But ultimately, if you have to declare a winner, you have to declare a winner. I have to winner to declare a winner. You cannot go on the referee program. You will have to declare the winner. Who is the winner? In this, we have to, if the lower wick is more, that means the price went down. And the bulls pushed it back again. Okay, they pushed it back almost till close here also and here also. So in this both cases, though the market it is doji, though it is said it is undecided, but make note that if you have a small body, but the lower wick is longer, we have to assume that the bulls have we are more interested in buying and taking it up. So, whether it is called rejection of lower prices? Huh? Rejection at lower prices, whether it is called uh, second terminology for that? Huh, the, but they, huh, they, they, they say the price rejection is happening. The rejection usually happens at the higher side. No, it's a rejection at lower price. Okay, you can call it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can say this is a rejection. This is a rejection is happening. People are jumping in to buy. So the lower wicks are more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, <clears throat> see here, the body is green, but the wick is higher. Correct? Here the rejection at higher price is there. Ah, the rejection as the Higher prices. Higher price. Yeah. 
so okay so prashant don't worry about uh, uh, rejection and all that word that is uh, some trading plan which they use or uh, uh, so don't worry ki ye rejection to padha hai nahi and this is uh, out of syllabus don't worry uh, so prashant is saying i am not getting uv is long okay <clears throat> uh prashant you can is it possible for you to unmute yes yes okay see here uh, you are able to imagine the fight no yes ha na so what has happened yes. is it went down uh, it went till here and then bulls took charge ki nahi yaar how can price go down and they pulled it back to this place so bulls yes. were very eager to take the price up and even if they are not able to take higher but they, at least they, they took it near the close price correct yes so the, so ha huh, just hold on hold on so yeah. the bulls were eager to pull it back to at least close if not up, above the close okay Open so pause over if in comparison with this see here also on this red candle 28th october you are able to see hai na yes. here the bear started selling 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 and the price went till here correct yes abhi bulls did they take the price back to close did the bulls fight back or they gave up ki nahi yaar we cannot fight today let it go let it go hai na so the fighting back spirit of the bulls was not there correct yes yes Hana? so Agreed. this is how you have to see the candle see here the fighting back spirit was not at all there they let it fall yaar jaane do here okay. also the bears kept on selling 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 the bulls did not fight back they did not take the price up again they bolta hai theek hai usko bechne ka hai let them sell i give up correct then okay. uh, here uh here if you see the it the price went down but then the bull said nahi i have to fight back they started buying 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 and then the wick came okay correct so this day the bulls fought back correct they okay. they they fought back they fought back they were uh, positive so they fought back this day and this day the bulls did not fight back okay Mind, mind. It's okay. relative. I'm. I mean, it's not precision. Uh, uh, it's not about preciseness. Okay, okay low wick, nahi rahega. Uh, Gopala ji, you have lot of music in the background. So once you are unmuting, there is some sound is uh, playing. Gopal Krishnan ji, I think there is some music playing in the background. So as soon as you uh, unmute the. Sorry, music, sorry. Yeah. So, sorry, I came out of the room. Sorry. Acha. so uh, just remain mute when uh, if you don't have any question so uh, mayank you are okay it's not about yes it went thoda sa fight kiya matlab uh, mayank can you <clears throat> can you see the difference theek hai you said there is a small wick theek hai chhota mota fight kiya but they did not fight like the way they fought here is mayank are you okay hai na so fight thoda jam ke diya on 18 they fought uh, bulls fought back on uh, this day and this day they did not fight much fine everyone okay can i have yes if you are able to make the difference between the fight between the bulls and the bears what is happening here and what is the difference between this and this and why we are saying the bulls fought back here because the wick is longer we are saying the bulls fought back yes no yes है ना प्रशांत सी दो जी इज देयर दे माइट अभी थ्री थर्टी पे विसल बज गया देर वॉज अजल एम्पायर सेट एन एस सी सेट ओके गो होम सो बुल्स कुड नॉट टेक इट अप मे बी इफ देर गिवन चांस टिल फोर थर्टी दे वुड है बट छोटा रेड है तो विल टेक इट इट वॉज द बियर्स वेर एबल टू स्टिल क्लोज एट लोअर प्राइस वी कैन से ओके but okay. the important part here is the lower wick is there where the bulls are fighting and they want to take the price up which is very important and i'll come to uh, this uh, in a short while see here and here also if you see uh, the 25th october the bulls started taking the chhota sa wick hai but bulls bought 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 and bears did not uh sell it they gave up theek hai i this is your day take it up so it went up and closed as compared to this 
this it went up went up went up it went till here then bear said bahut ho gaya yaar abhi nahi isse zyada nahi and like mayank said rejection the rejection started from here don't worry about the word rejection and the bear started selling 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 and it went down so if this upper wick is longer even if the body is greater the upper wick is longer that means bears were also interested in selling back selling back okay okay so nishant is saying can we say that if the lower wick is long it means that bulls gave a fight back and if the lower wick is short then the bulls gave up the fight uh either they gave up the fight or the see in this green candle they did not allow the bears to take control they took the charge theek hai so uh, nishant depending on the color of the candle uh if the lower wick is small and the candle is green uh, till top then bulls took the charge theek hai and then they took it up so there may be no upper wick so bulls were only in charge here it may so happen that the lower wick is smaller later part the bears took over okay and they had a upper wick so this is how you have to differentiate so you have to see the wick as well as the color of the candle everyone okay now with the fight between bulls and bears and this is the entire story of the fight between bulls and bears whatever we are going so can i have yes from all of you if you have understood clearly uh, the candles that is one how they are plotted how they are drawn second thing are you able to imagine the fight between bulls and bears what is happening and and that's why this candle is getting plotted yes okay uh, any questions uh, before we go for a short break uh, water break or bio break any questions gray lines okay okay so i have to explain this gray lines any other question uh can i have a question sir yeah please go ahead uh if the bull or bullish or bearish ha huh. can we can we able to identify the first this day closing for the next day trading nahi nahi uh, this is the fight of uh, that day only you see combination i'll come to it later maybe around 12 30 1 o'clock i'll be going for the combinations yeah yeah uh, mainly I will, mainly i would like to know will, if i if we close it in bullish mm-hmm. will it continue for the next day or the no, bearish is start no, no no guarantee no guarantee uh, it is likely to continue but there is no guarantee uh, it depends upon the global activities also ha huh, uh, global activities uh, analysis during the day and all something like that okay thank you thank you okay thank you. now coming to uh, question of devesh uh, devesh uh, this gray lines are the volumes okay, how many shares were traded in that day so uh, more more volume more number of shares the taller the gray uh, lines or gray tower will be fine volume is the number of shares theek hai devesh you are okay okay great uh, so we are at uh, 131 uh, we will take a quick bio break uh, i want you to take a bio break water break bring some water and keep it with you and drink some water and uh, don't go for tea it will be a uh, very long so uh, should we start at 11 uh, we are at 11:32 11:45 is okay everyone okay with 11:45 yes 11:45 is okay uh okay so let's uh, regroup again around 11:45 so that we we have created a base we take it to the next level so next uh, class will be matching the volume and the price 11:45 we'll be back the webinar is running you can log out log in again or you can remain logged in uh, both ways is okay 11:45 